What's up everybody, it's Bill from High Volume Games and welcome to another episode of Promotion Wars. That's right, it's episode number 20. We made it. I can't believe it. You know, when I did the first episode, it was, you know, just because we got... I found this game, a game that I loved in the 2000s, had come back with in 2021, had to play it, wanted to show it off, bring back some memories... Uh, and I couldn't believe it when we kept going and watching and, you know, I was getting good feedback. So here we are at episode 20. So as a special uh, thanks to everyone, we're doing the uh, chat and premiere. Um, we've got Adam and Hello from Team Promotion Wars here in the chat. Uh, I'll be in the chat as well. Uh, this is recorded, so it's I can't talk to you, but feel free to talk to us in the chat, and I'll uh, we'll answer any questions. Just just lend me your feedback on how this is going. So let's get into the action. Uh, if you didn't watch the last episode, I basically just lost myself at the end of that one. Go back and watch it because it's pretty funny. Uh, we got it. I decided, okay, Paul London and Aaliyah Rush, 99% feud. Their, their feud was so hot. And I wanted to put them in a gimmick match that would get us some good ratings. So I went with the Lions Den because they'd done well before. 93% when their feud was very little. Here we are. Their feud is hot. Let's go. I'm thinking only about the ratings. I 100% never thought that the title would change. But that's what happened. World title match. Paul London takes the title. He is our new champion. Now what's going to happen? Because we've got Eric Redbeard waiting in the wings. Uh, but does Leo Rush get a shot first? You know, rematch clause. Uh, uh, we got a TV title tournament that needs to be started. We're three episodes of Wednesday Night Warriors away from the pay-per-view. So how about we get started? Bam. All right. As you see, look at our... Uh, because of that TV deal, I forgot also to mention that we got a... Let's go to that email, by the way. We got an email at the end of last show. Just a, you know, I was already out of whack after that title change that I wasn't expecting. But then we get this email that a new promotion is launched renegade pro wrestling federation they've already secured a local tv deal now what's up with that i had to work for that he just gets it this is vinnie e bisteroni well we're gonna watch them we're keeping that eye on them <laughs> so but good news is air paris returned you know i i i feel for air paris because we we he got injured so quickly in the first time uh, that we never even really got a look at him. Then the second time, we put him in a feud with Adam Williams. Like, okay, he's going to help Adam Williams out. He started looking good, and then he got injured again. So I'm really rooting for him uh, in this next uh, iteration. Hoping he does not get injured. Because... Uh, he, the thing that I noticed is we were talking about putting him in the TV tournament, but his draw value is so high that if you look at people with a draw value, he is actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh highest in our league, in our Fed right now. I mean, he is ahead of people um, like that disco guy, like our interstate champion, Lance Hawaii. Like Adam Williams and Zach Godwin, like La L.A. Park, he is above some big names. Um, so, I don't know. I think he's gonna stay back. I think, um, I think we're going to put someone else in in that spot. But okay, so. The other thing I did, I did it. I did change Ruby Riot's name uh, to her new name that she announced earlier this week in real life. Uh, 
She is now going to be known as Ruby Soho, which I was singing that song for about an hour after she announced that. Uh, yeah, I think AFA NOI is going to be in that television title tournament instead of Air Paris. You know, just because Air Paris should be actually going against uh, Lance. <laughs> so maybe that's who we feud. Because uh, we need a we need a feud for Lance NOI. Uh, so we'll put Lance against Air Paris. We'll put AFA in the tournament. So let's go to the feuds. Uh, Davy Boy Smith, Chris Harris is building. Disco House and Adam Williams, Tommy O'Neill is building. Leo Rush and Paul London are is is gonna fade, but again, look at they're still at a hundred percent. They are at a hundred percent feud. So I think what we need to have in this first episode is the rematch, and we'll just see whatever happens after that. The cards lay. If Rush wins. He continues on to where he was going. If London wins, he goes into the, the spot. Uh, Summer Rae and Ruby Soho is rising, especially after spitting each other, or Summer Rae spitting Ruby's food. Uh, Valentine and Godwin versus Cannonball and Viking. Uh, that actually was an interesting one on the, for their first match. Tony Callahan versus Nicole Matthews. So let's add... Uh, Lance and Air Paris. So we're sitting at 95 rating. Good job. Uh, let's look. Look at this. We got a new trainee, Alicia Carrington. Um, she is a cruiserweight female with an 81 in ring ability. Can, we, can you imagine? Now, with an 81 in-ring ability, well, if she came up against Tony, uh, Tony Callahan, uh, she would be those two who, because I think Tony has an 82, they would be uh, blowing the roof off the place. I actually kind of have a, a interesting. If you you gotta be you gotta be a 90s kid to uh, to get this to kind of get this joke a little bit but we're gonna call her by a different name actually I wanted that Alicia part she's gonna be Alicia Sherrington and the reason why uh, it, her gimmick is going to be uh, based off of clueless uh, Alicia Silverstone's uh, character share uh, so yeah, she's going to be Alicia Sherrington, uh, and she's going to be the Valley Girl. And actually, I'm going to make her a heel, even though, you know, we were looking for face females. Again, we'll put her heel. She can work with Amber. Actually, we'll put her with Amber, who do, who is the pretty much the female in the in our fed, in our fed that doesn't have a match right now. So let's do that. Yeah, because Ashley America is valeting for Nicole Matthews in the feud with uh, Tony Callahan. So Amber Nova and Alicia Sherrington will be in their own match. All right. So let's get to the show. We have three shows to the, uh, the pay-per-view. So we're going to do two matches from the TV tournament today. Or in this one. Two matches into the TV tournament in the next one. Then we'll have the semifinals on the third one. And then we'll have the uh, the actual crowning of the television champion at Burned Bridges. So let's go. Uh, we're going to go 900. We're going to the display building. We're selling one of these out. I, I think we got to go eight. We have such good matches right now that we have to go eight. And we're just going to put straight up World WA title. Leo Rush getting his return against Paul London. Whoever wins, it's out. 
This is the final match between these guys. All right. Let's put a singles match. between the returning Air Paris and Lance NY, non-title. We want a tag team match. Actually, I almost want to put it a three-way because I have nothing for champions right now. Because <laughs> I'm like, where's my face tag teams? But, you know, I don't really have any at the moment. I have Williams and O'Neal, and they're in the feud with Discord. So let's put a three-way tag team match on the line. The good thing is Aries' ability is going to make, and draw power is going to make this good. Uh, and we got Tommy O'Neill. I think there needs to be a Tommy O'Neill and Austin Aries feud at some point. I actually thought about maybe having Aries become the new Interstate Championship interstate champion and then have Tommy O'Neill because their draw or their ability rating is so high the two of them would again blow the roof off the place uh, so we got Disco Housen and we're gonna put the tag team champions in the elite tag teams of our division now that a certain team blew up and eliminated one one another. <laughs> Ruby and Summer Ray in the in the in one match of the television title tournament. We are going to have uh, Ryan Nemeth against Sean Cash. It's probably way too high for Cash in the, in the other match. We'll have Evan Gonzalez taking on Mike Bennett. In a tag, oh, nope, that's wrong. In a tag team women's match, we're going to see Amber Nova and Tony Callahan teaming up against Nicole Matthews and Alicia, the debuting Alicia Sherrington. And just because we love tag team matches, don't. <laughs> but we need we need our our hardcore uh, ones. These guys are going to fight in a backstage brawl, but we're going to see. Well, before I do that, let's let's look. Because the guys, we, we talked about the tournament. And again, I just made a switch. So, Alpha and Maven are the two faces that are still left. And we said, Maccabee and Cannon. Okay. So, who, let's just look. Who, Alpha is a 67. Maven is a 65. So basically, we'll put Maven with Maccabee, and Alpha will go up against Cannon. But that's next week. Uh, we're still doing our Jeff Cannonball and Viking versus Valentine and Godwin. This tag team that, out of out of a weird respect for each other, after beating the living crap out of each other for months and months, uh, they're now working together. All right. So now it's going to go through, see if we did enough to get that 900 people. 
and go through the ratings and we'll go through the matches and see what we get. So now the shows are a little longer. I put the you know, they, they have the the slower and faster you can run the speed of it. I put it down to the slowest. It makes the show longer, but I can keep up with the reading and you know, I'm not like starting a promo and then, you know, just kind of missing the rest and not help, not saying it. So I hope you all don't mind that the show runs a little longer than it used to. The last one was 45 minutes uh, versus what we were usually doing about 35 minutes. So we're going to get our numbers here. Here we are, 865. We're getting closer. We are getting closer. And remember, as as Adam once started with 70 in that one, now we're at 865. We're getting to 1,000. And that should be the next special when we hit 1,000. All right, slow it down. All right, we got our tag team backstage brawl. They're live from the concourse. Scotty and Viking are fighting. Viking grabs a tray from the food stall and waffles Scotty Valentine with it. Scotty goes down. They fall into a decorative planter. But the, inside the shrubbery, there's a soda can. He shakes and pops open Viking in the face. He's now blinded Scotty Valentine with a quick kick to the midsection and a DDT on the hard concrete floor. One, two, three. Scotty Valentine pins Viking, and it's a hell of a mess. Now see the reason slowing it down. I've never finished that one before, so that this is why it works. Vince calls up Tony Callahan. Callahan has a few things to say about Nicole Matthews. Wait a minute, Matthews has joined the interview. It's, I wouldn't say anything. Matthews, she's kicking butt in this thing. They start exchanging words, and it, things could turn violent. But Nicole Matthews walks away. She knows. She knows. It's. That's far from over. They're going to have their match right now. Amber and over. Tony Callahan versus Nicole Matthews and the debut. Sherrington. Elisa Sherrington connects with the Hurricane on Callahan. She makes the cover. Oh, I have to change the short name. And the rep counts to three. Elisa Sherrington picks up the win. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Evan Gonzalez versus Mike Bennett. Evan Gonzalez is down on the mat. Mike Bennett makes the cover. Feet on the ropes. Ref doesn't see it, and the ref counts to three. Mike Bennett stole the victory. So Mike Bennett moving to the semifinals. This could be four heels. Winning. <laughs> Vince Russo questioning the current situation between Smith Jr. and Harris. Before Harris can say a word, Davies boy Smith Jr. comes out of nowhere and knocks Harris on the floor. They're, he's kicking the life out of Harris. Finally, Davy boy Jr. walks away, leaving Harris in a heap. Ryan Nemeth and Sean Cash with the referee's back turned. Ryan Nemeth hits Sean Cash with a low blow. Nemeth rolls him up. Handful of tights. What? Did the refs go on strike? Did we just pick people out from the crowd? Jeez, Louise. <laughs> Ryan Nemeth cheats his way to victory. Ryan Nemeth and Mike Bennett have moved on. Paul London comes to the ring. The champ. Paul London comes to the ring with the mic in his hand. He cuts a promo on Leah Rush. Why does he get this title again? Title tournament or oh, title match again? Rush music interrupts. He stands on the entranceway and responds. Leah Rush walks off, having had the last word. Ruby Soho and Summer Ray. Ruby connects the riot kick on Summer Ray. She makes the cover. And Ruby's going to pin the champion and get the win.
Vince Russo now standing in the ring with Ruby. There are a lot of people in this business that call you one of the best. But there's one person who doesn't, and that's Summer Rae. Ruby says, well, I owe it to the great fans of Abilene to prove that I am, in fact, the best. Summer Rae comes back out. You, the best. What a joke. Ruby says, you seem to be able to talk the talk, but can you walk the walk? Summer Rae, annoyed, hits the microphone over the head of Ruby Soho. The brutal attack is not over. She now gets a steel chair and hits her over the head, leading them in the middle of the ring. Oh no, this has gone too far. That disco guy hits the chart buster on Adam Williams. The disco guy makes the cover and Disco Housen wins the three-way tag team match. Uh-oh, do, do we think we need to have this three-way tag team match again? With This time with the title on the line? <laughs> I figured Arias was going to win that with Last Chancery, and that would be it. <laughs> Air Paris. The returning Air Paris. You know, they're going, welcome back. Welcome back. Paris cuts a promo on Lance, and its music starts. Lance comes to the ring unhappy with the comments made. The two meet face-to-face -face in the ring. And it turns into a brawl. There's, they're holding nothing back here. And now they've battled all the way to the back. We're going to have to get security to stop this. And now here they come for a match. With Lance down on the mat, Air Paris goes to the top rope. Paris comes off the top of the moon, so... It connects. Air Paris is going to come back on his day or his return and pin the interstate champion. <laughs> I love when we get surprise, uh, uh, surprise results. Lisa Sherrington comes out to the ring with a microphone as if. Carrington has plenty to say about Amber Nova. Nova music interrupts. Amber Nova comes out to the ring face to face with Carrington. Carrington isn't quite so vocal now. Mm -hmm. Carrington backs away and leaves the ring. Amber Nova looking strong. In the World Heavyweight Title Match Leo Rush versus Paul London. Paul London goes to the top. He connects with the 450 splash on Leo. The cover is made. And the ref counts to three. There you go. No. Paul London gets the win, retains his World Heavyweight title. No doubt about it. It wasn't a fluke. He is our champion. All right. So Scotty, Valentine, and Zach Godwin, Cannonball, and Viking, 71%. Uh, the female... Tag went 76. Bennett and Gonzalez went 76. Nemeth and Cash went 72. Ruby Soho and Summer Rae went 70. Uh, the three-way tag team went 79. The Air Paris Lens in Hawaii went 73. And Leo Rush and Paul London went 94. Uh-oh. We have an we have a third email, and I get nervous because you know usually that means either someone's mad or someone is uh, someone's mad or someone's injured. And I really hope it's not Air Paris being injured. <laughs> I think every time we see the crooked number now, we're going to see worry about Air Paris. Oh, it's Jeff Cannonball. He's out four months with an ACL tear. That is like the third time Jeff Cannonball's been injured. And that's not counting the time that I had to, like, redo the show and he was not injured again uh so we made fourteen thousand eight hundred and sixty profit that's almost enough to pay the bills and they gave a thumbs up on a hole and leo rush and paul london of course were the the best show on the on the night unfortunately that's going to get rid of a feud 
Oh, we got six emails. I'm nervous because I don't know what the heck this is going to be. Ah. Uh-oh, a source in the locker room has noted that all is not quite so well between Adam Williams and Tony Callahan in recent days. They are said to have had a very public argument at the Wednesday Night War tapings. We'll continue to monitor this. Well, you know, she's getting her butt kicked because of, you know, that uh, relationship. And RPWF is apparently firing missiles at us. They have signed Al Snow to a two-year contract. They have signed Arez. They have signed Ben Hamlin. They have signed Brent Tate. And Cassidy Riley. I do like Cassidy. Oh, bringing in Al Snow. And 17500 like I said, almost paid the bills. But we're, all, we're basically losing enough. We're losing enough that the, when TV comes up, we're still making tens of thousands of dollars. So I mean, we're almost to that point where we can pilfer if we wanted. Let's, what is, let's see, what does Cassidy Riley mean? No. <laughs> we're not going to pilfer uh, Cassidy Riley for two years because we're going to have to pay his entire contract. What are they paying him? Just out of, I have to see. Wouldn't have even looked at Cassidy Riley until R, uh, WPF. Did I say that? I said that wrong? RPWF. <laughs> Those guys. <laughs> oh, see, look at that RPWF. And they're paying him one hundred and fifty dollars. We'll pay you two hundred. <laughs> it would cost me fifteen thousand to pilfer him, or no, it would cost me just to talk to him, uh, or no, if he had, it's if he signs, he would. Uh, if he were to sign with us, we would have to pay R P W F that money. Oh, three emails on Sunday. Oh, the, the RPWF is a uh, going for the female division now. The women as they sign Alexia Nicole, Alicia Fox, and Alley Cat. Yeah, I think I offered Alley Cat something at one point. She was just holding out till our. PWF shows up. Those jerk. Uh oh, our sources informed us the rumors are that Tom, Tony Callahan may have cheated on Adam Williams with another wrestler. What is going on here? <laughs> the atmosphere. I'm just praying that it's not who I think it was. <laughs> I have sources too, and I'm just praying it's not that person. It was that disco guy. No. <laughs> Sorry. It's great because I'm making myself laugh. <laughs> All right. So. This is all leading up to... Did you notice this is all like almost working great to lead up to burned bridges? Because there might be some burned bridges. We don't know who it is. <laughs> all right. So I have... No clue what to do. Uh, can we make a few right now? Oh, we have to cancel that other feud. So yeah, Leah Rush and Paul under are gone. Oh, uh, but... Oh, wait. No, the other two are not in a feud at all. So... All right, so it's time. Eric Redbeard's going to get his shot. Not today, not for this uh, 
in this match, but he's going to get a shot to start looking for that title. Although I get nervous because, remember, he won a battle royal, he fought the next week, and he got injured. <laughs> Which then Leo Rush took over and then held the title for months. <laughs> All right, so singles match. We are going to see the world champion take on the number one contender in a non-title match. In a singles match for the interstate title, we're going to see Lance Anoa'i and Air Paris. In a number one contenders match for the World Tag Team Championship, we're going to see Disco Housen take on O'Neill and Williams. For the women's championship, because she also won. <laughs> Air Paris and Ruby Riot won matches against the champion, so they're just they're getting their shot. Summer Rae takes on Ruby Soho. In a singles match in the television title tournament. We are going to see Afa Jr. take on Eric Cannon in the other. We will see in the Lions Dead Notes. <laughs> that was not actually see my arrow is so different. That what I see versus what you see, it wasn't lined up against the lion's den like it was right now. Uh, so, what did we say? We said Maven Huffman is going to take on Daniel Maccabee because Daniel Maccabee has the high rating. Uh, in a singles women's match, we're going to see it because she pit, they pinned each, or she pinned her. We're going to see Alicia Sherrington take on Tawny Callahan. That breaks that breaks from the feud a bit, but that's okay. We definitely got to get uh Uh, we never really get, there's a few guys we got to get back into it. We got to get uh, the rest of uh, the misunderstood L.A. Park and Mad Braddix back into uh, these shows. Mad Braddix at least walks Disco Housing out. But <laughs> so I guess it's a good problem to have because remember we started off not having a lot of people. But we have a we have such a solid roster now that some of these people are not getting onto shows. Is that we're gonna be we're gonna be like every indie that you know has about four matches, then they have this battle royal with everybody in it, and it did four matches. That way, I mean, let's be honest. We've had Black and is it Black and Sanchez? Those guys have been, uh, uh, have barely been used all year. 871! We're getting there! <laughs> all right, kids, let's see what happens. Andrew Everett and Evan Gonzalez in this kind of throne match, but Andrew Everett's, uh, draw rating has gone down, um, since winning the. Interstate title or losing it actually. Gonzalez down on the mat. Everett goes for the 630 sent down and it connects. Is this a rebuild for Evan Gonzalez? I mean, not Evan Gonzalez, Andrew Everett. I like the team of Andrew Everett and Daniel McAbee, but let's make sure Daniel McAbee doesn't win the television title first. Alisa Sherrington comes to the ring with a microphone in hand. She cuts a promo on Amber Nova. Nova interrupts. 
Oh, he stands on the entranceway and responds to Car Sherrington from... Yeah, I gotta still change that. Uh, Amber Noble walks off, having the last word, except Elisa Sherrington says, Whatever. <laughs> I can do that all day. Tony Callahan is in full control here against Alicia Sherrington. Sherrington... Oh, she has Sherrington set up for the Tony Cutter. Nicole Matthews' music begins to play. Tony Callahan only allows the distraction to work for a second. Oh, but she still hits the Tony Cutter. Tony Callahan actually wins her first match. Uh, Nicole Matthews upset her plan didn't work. But, you know, boy, Tony Callahan having a bad week. We know there's issues. We know... She's got Nicole Matthews as well. Even Huffman in a sleeper hold by Daniel McAbee. McAbee is trying to fight it off. He pushes Maven into the referee. The referee's down. McAbee sees his chance. Low blow. Maven Huffman crumbles. McAbee locks in. McAbee lock pie. Maven goes to the top to the ropes, but the referee's still down. McAbee pulls him away back in the middle. Maven has no choice and taps. And there comes the rep. McAbee takes full advantage and wins the match. That's three heels. <laughs> he said our heels are stronger than our faces. Harris tells Alep Abilene that he could beat Davy Boy Jr. any day. The crowd's going, do it, do it, do it. Davy Boy Smith Jr. comes out, and this is going to get ugly. A brawl has broken out. These two friends. Security invades the ring. And can we... Please say something here. I got Chris Harris for 200 a week, just to kind of when Davy Boy Smith Jr. was injured, by the way, and we needed people to replace him. And look at him go. That during that, we needed three people to replace Davy Boy Smith Jr. We got Chris Harris, who's done very well for himself, Leo Rush, the world champ, and unfortunately, Mad Reddick's got hurt, but. Half is down on the mat. Eric Cannon makes the cover. Cannon and his feet on the ropes. All four heels win. <laughs> and look at Eric Cannon getting into the semifinals. I'm happy for him. Do I think he's going to win? No. But keep it up, buddy. We're, Cannon was like an add-on, and he made himself by making it Adam Williams and even Evan Gonzalez. Uh, Summer Ray out. Cutting a promo on Ruby Soho. Ruby Soho's music plays. Uh, she comes to the ring unhappy. The two meet face to face. And it turns into a brawl. Get him. Get him. Get him. You're holding nothing back. The brawl goes outside the ring. And now they're battled to the back. Are they fighting next? <laughs> We're going to have to get security back to stop this. Yes, they are fighting next. Get back in the ring. <laughs> Ruby connects the riot kick. Oh! She makes the cover. It makes the three. Ruby Soho is the HBW Women's Champion. Welcome to HVW. Took her three weeks to get the belt. Vince Russo backstage with Aaron Paris. Vince Russo asks his thoughts about Lance. Paris doesn't want to talk about this. Vince Russo keeps asking. I know where this is going. <laughs> After minutes of asking, Paris has had it. He punches Vince Russo <laughs> and leaves. He punches. Air Paris just keeps just keeps going up in my book. Oh, with the referee's back turn, that Disco guy hits Adam Williams with a low blow. What a week! What an episode for Disco guy. He gets another win. They are the number one contenders again. He cheats his way to victory. But in the in the history books, it's still a win. <laughs> Paul London coming down to the ring. Oh, wait. No, I did put Paul London in the red beard. Okay. 
He says, Abilene, I don't know if you know this, but recently Eric Redbeard has made some comments about me. Now, normally these types of comments wouldn't even affect me. But this time, they've lit a fire under the ass of old Paul London. A fire the likes of Eric Redbeard has never seen until now. And what's the saying? You play with fire, you'll get burned. Well, Eric Redbeard, book your bed in the burn ward at the hospital, because I'm coming. And he leaves the ring saying exactly what he wanted to say. You need some aloe vera for that burn. Uh, Lance Edwin is in full control. He signals for the Samoan splash. They go to position near Paris, but Paris pokes Lance in the eye. The ref doesn't see it. Damn you, ref. <laughs> Big slam near the corner player, Paris. He climbs to the top rope. Moon salt. <laughs> One, two, three. Air Paris is the interstate champion. <laughs> Holy biscuits. With Eric Redbeard down on the mat, Paul London goes to the top rope. He comes off the top with a 450 splash. It connects. He makes the three count. Paul London beats Eric Redbeard. All right, we got Everett and Gazala, 75. Tony Callahan and Alicia Sherrington, not in a feud, went 80. So if that's how they did. Imagine later on when we put them in a feud and it's 80%. McNabe and Maven Huffman, 72. Eric Kennedy and F.O.Y. Uh, and Hawaii, 73. The women's championship match. We had two title changes in this match in this show. Seventy-one, Disco Housen and Tom, you know, defeating Tommy O'Neill and Adam Williams. Seventy-seven, the Interstate Championship. Seventy-four, Paul London defeating Eric Redbeard. Seventy-eight, the overall show rating. Seventy-eight. Our show ratings weren't very high, but that's because we were doing the tournament and we didn't have feuds going. Um, so, and the feuds are actually very new. So we made fifteen thousand oh oh four profit. Again, we're we're getting, we're not losing we're losing a little, but we're talking about losing two. We two thousand a show. We were losing fifteen thousand or you know, thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars a show before, and to the point where we were almost gonna wipe ourselves out. Now we're losing about you know with the with the uh um, with the big show, we're probably losing about uh, ten, fifteen thousand for the month, and then we get a bigger uh, revenue from the uh, uh, TV. So we're actually making money, even though it doesn't look it right now. All right, so we're gonna fast forward. See, uh oh, four new messages. It, is it that RPWF? It is. It is. Like the Game Show Network. AJ Kirsch, two-year deal. Alex Silva, two-year deal. Anthony Gagnon, two-year deal. AR Fox, two-year deal. They, they love the people with the name A, other than Cassidy Riley. Cassidy Riley is like... <laughs> they're just stealing everybody, I guess. And here's our wages. 17500 So yeah, we lost like 2500 I mean, that's okay. Weekly review. We're doing an excellent job. They love us. Oh, we dropped down to 92, though. But again, I, I, again, I think it's because our show was low, but it, it's going to get better. Our feuds are, our feuds are building up. Oh, here we go. RPWF signs Bear Bronson. They signed Bell Pierce. They signed Amber O'Neill. They signed Angela Fong. Oh, there you go. You got some more WWE. Angela Fong was in WWE for a minute, right? Anthony Bennett. 
uh, Bill Carr, Blake Christian, Calvin Tankman. Uh, we didn't get an email about. Uh, we didn't get an email about who was uh, cheating on who. Uh, Barry Madison uh, has is a potential candidate, but he doesn't really have anything that we want. He could be an interviewer with his. We could put him instead of like a Vince Russo, you know, so Vince Russo can stop getting punched, but. <laughs> And then we'll hold off and just let him be. Uh, oh, look at look at! Wait a minute, I I want to I want to call BS here. <laughs> we have Wednesday Night Warriors, and the Renegade Pro Wrestling Federation has Wednesday Night Renegades. Darn you! <laughs> And they have a house show. They got two shows. We don't have two shows yet, but that's okay. We need two shows because then, like I said, those guys who don't have a show right now. Uh, but hopefully, we're gonna get there soon. Ooh, my thing is uh, going. My phone is going crazy, uh, but we'll see. So that looks like that's gonna be it. I want to see the feedback. Roster is good. All oh, that. Show is good. Superb. Championships are good except for the television, which that's because uh, we haven't had a match for it yet. Um, general info. Promotion ranking. We're actually below Renegade and all these other. Notice that Game Changer is gone. They, they had no, they had nobody. <laughs> So, all right, that's going to be it. Let's go to the uh, main screen. All right, my friends, I want to say once again, thank you. That was an awesome show. Again, was our ratings high? No, but, man, it was fun. I enjoyed it. I'm one of the 78% who thought it was awesome. I had fun. <laughs> Hope you guys did. Um Again, thank you to everybody who's been watching. I mean, we're closing in on 700 views for the now 20 episodes. Uh, couldn't have done it without you. Again, thank you to Team Promotion Wars for making this game. Uh, it has been so much fun for me uh, to come back and play. And we're not done. This isn't goodbye because we're going to keep going. Uh, it's just super fun. Always fun to be playing this game. And now to have people watching, people making feedback. It's its great. And I hope you guys enjoyed the live chat. Uh, I hope, you know, one of my favorite, they, let's just say, uh, Velo, Adam, and I talk after every episode, and they always say that their favorite part is my reactions to uh, the, the matches, reading the, reading the script. Um, I always, or my favorite part is when the show is over and they tell me what they think because I listen to what they do. You know, we've talked about that. That's how we got Bulldog and Chris Harris together. Uh, that's how Disco Housen became Disco Housen. Uh, so I listen to everything uh, that they say um, and we try to incorporate that. You know, we're going to have Huffman and Cash, especially now that they both lost Huffman and Cash that can start, uh, their tag team battle. So, <laughs> so thank you to everybody. Uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, that is, where are we? We're on Saturday, so we will be back on Wednesday for another episode. So, take care. We'll see you soon. Bye now. <laughs>